What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Comedic Comedian Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hope y'all didn't hear it. I just got through eating lunch. <laughs> I'm sorry. But if you're new to my channel, I am a prophetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what Spirit tells me, the holy angels, and the divine. I'm also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. And angel number 33 on the clock. And I'm going to do a reading for Virgo. Hi, Virgo. I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday or whenever you receive this message. <clears throat> okay, Virgo, let's pray. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael. I ask you to sing your greatest white light and please give me clear and precise messages clear and precise messages for Virgo protect me and protect Virgo and give me clear and precise messages clear and precise messages for Virgo Virgo you could have a new car you could have purchased a new car or you could have got a car at the first of the year or something like that or somebody somebody is purchasing a new car or something like that that could be for somebody I'm getting a vision in my head somebody is about to get a new car or somebody somebody's gonna somebody is gonna surprise somebody with a car I'm seeing like an Audi or a Mercedes Benz I'm always picking up on that somebody could even have an SUV somebody is going to be gifted with a car or somebody's going to get a new car or somebody uh I'm hearing complications with your car so you could be having like complications with your car and I'm hearing somebody is going to gift you with a new car yeah look I told you look we have a personal issue reaches a resolution so something can involve some type of car that could be for one person here anyhow what else, what else is going on uh you know what I'm hearing Virgo the energy that I'm picking up on is you're going to be gifted with something. Somebody want to gift you something. I'm hearing be careful though. Be careful. I feel like somebody somebody wants to shower you with love. Shower you with gifts. Somebody wants to shower you. Okay. Or somebody. I'm hearing money. I'm hearing love don't cost a thing. Okay. Somebody could be a nerd here. I'm seeing that movie with Nick Cannon and uh... What's her damn name? Uh, shit. Nick Cannon and fucking, uh, uh, dang it. I know that girl name. I'm seeing that movie Love Don't Cost a Thing in my head with Nick Cannon and freaking, what's her name? I can't think of, I can't think of shorty name. What is her name? Christina Milian. Yes. Okay. So somebody could be a nerd or somebody could be like, somebody could be a computer tech or somebody could, somebody is kind of nerdy. Okay. Somebody likes you. You have a secret admirer. That's what I'm hearing, Virgo. You got a secret admirer, but somebody is kind of, kind of nerdy. Somebody wants to do something special for you. Oh, who is this? This is sweet, Virgo. Are you dating this person? Are you, I'm hearing a secret admirer, admirer though, Virgo. I feel like somebody really wants to do something sweet for you. Okay, somebody could have lied about you to somebody. That's what I'm hearing. You know what I'm hearing? Now, this might not be for everybody. So, you can have an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend or something like that. Or an ex-husband or an ex-wife or a baby father or a baby mother. Somebody could have hired a fake lover to come into your life. And this fake lover, angel number 333 on the clock when I said that. This fake lover that has been sent into your life has fell in love with you. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody is in love with you. Somebody could be telling your ex or your ex's ex that I don't want to be a part of this. I'm not going to ruin or sabotage somebody's life one second. We have don't let pride get in your way. I feel like somebody is trying to close out some type of karmic cycle with, with somebody. I feel like, excuse me. <clears throat> Y'all, I ain't combing my hair today. I ain't feel like being on current camera. But anyways, <laughs> but anyways, like. So basically what I'm seeing is, is that somebody is in love with you. This person could be very nerdy. You know, somebody could be like a, a, a somebody could work in technical support or some shit like that. Somebody could be like a tech or somebody could even be like a nurse's tech or something. I don't know what you call that. Somebody could work in the medical field. Somebody does something, but they're very professional. We have the answers that you need are coming. I like this person, but I don't like this person because I, whoever this person is, this is somebody that, angel number 444 on the clock, this is a secret admirer. You could have briefly talked to this person, 
You could have met this person while you were out in public somewhere. You could have met this person while your car broke down or something like that. You could have met this person online, like an online dating site. I don't know. Either way it go, it's a setup. Something has been a setup here. Okay. There is somebody that's, that, that's in love with you though. That's how, that's what I'm hearing. Somebody is very much in love with you, but I, I'm, what I'm hearing is, is that now this is not the same for everybody. Some of you can genuinely have somebody that's, that's, that, that likes you. That's a secret admirer that really wants to date you. They haven't done anything to you. Now for some of you, I'm hearing that a ex lover or an ex is, or your ex's ex could have hired somebody to get into your business or get into your life. And I'm hearing they're mad because they couldn't find anything. And the person that they were sent, that was sent in to get some type of information on you they could be in they could be scared of you they could be intimidated by you so you could be like you could be spiritually gifted or something like that i'm hearing you can have some type of platform you can be a tarot reader you don't have to okay engine number 555 on the clock as i said that somebody somebody was sent towards you to get an inside information on you and i'm hearing this say lover but this motherfucker didn't fucked around and fell in love with you and somebody wants to shower you with gifts somebody is in love with you i'm hearing that song by usher there goes my baby Ooh, girl, look at you. Somebody may even please themselves to you. Okay, so somebody, you could have sent somebody a picture or a photo or like a selfie or somebody... Somebody could have forwarded, forwarded your selfie to somebody else. So if you could have sent a selfie to somebody, say you met somebody online or say you met somebody at a store or something like that. I feel like somebody, you could have sent somebody a selfie. Okay. I don't, I'm not really seeing any nudes. I hope you didn't send this person no nudes, but I'm here. You could have sent somebody a selfie or somebody could have, or you could have been texting this person something. Somebody could have, some, somebody could have recorded your conversation or somebody, somebody is stupid here and somebody is looking. And I'm here to expect a powerful change because if somebody, so if, if your ex or your ex's ex could have hired somebody to, to, to snoop into your life, if they could have tried to hire a fake lover or somebody to come in, expect a powerful change because this person is going to go to jail for illegally watching you, stalking you. Somebody is going to go to jail for, for, for trying to snoop into your life or try, I don't know, or somebody this is what I'm hearing. You know what? This this is different for everybody. Okay. This might resonate for a few of you, Virgo. But what I'm hearing is, is that either you've already talked to this person or you don't even know this person exists. You don't even know that this person is a secret admirer. Or this could be somebody that you're talking to that you don't know that has that's trying to set you up. But I'm hearing if this person don't go to jail, because I feel like somebody could have backed out of this. You could be spiritually gifted. You could be psychic or something. You could be a terry or somebody could have came towards you and could have discovered that you're spiritually gifted or something like that. Somebody could be afraid of you. Somebody could be going back to your ex or your ex's ex. And they could be saying like, nah, man. Or nah, you know, I don't want to be a part of this. Uh, I, I didn't know. You didn't tell me that this person was psychic. You didn't tell me that this person was a tarot reader or something like that. And I feel like whoever they're telling this to, somebody is saying, wait a minute. You mean to tell me they're actually really psychic or they're actually really a tarot reader? This is somebody that's on YouTube or TikTok or something like this is somebody that could be a tarot reader. I'm hearing if you're, if you're a tarot reader and you're single, be careful who you're dating. Okay. And be careful who you're sleeping with because you have an ex or your ex's ex is trying to send fake lovers in your life. And I'm hearing this shit is about to backfire with expect a powerful change. This shit is about to backfire because I feel like whoever this lover is that was sent into your life, they're scared of you. Or they're now wanting to back out of the situation because either one, they've been caught. I feel like somebody could be having car trouble or something like that. Somebody is telling lies on you. So this is what I'm hearing. If you're not the one that's having car trouble, somebody's karma for fucking with you, even if they did back out of the situation, they're having car trouble. But somebody could be going back to your ex or your ex's ex or your ex and your person's ex. They might not even be together no more, but they could be working in cahoots with this new lover. Okay, be careful, man. Be careful of somebody trying to come in and wine and dine you and shit like that. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. Somebody here, somebody here, man. There's about to be some type of... 
I don't know who this false lover is, but they better back out of this shit and they better back out of it now. I feel like this person has backed out of this or they're trying to, but I'm hearing somebody is saying, nah, somebody could be blackmailing somebody. So your ex or your ex's ex or these motherfuckers could have got back together. Somebody is blackmailing somebody. Somebody is saying, no, you already took the money. You already, we, you've, you've already did what we asked you to do. So you're, if you, if you, if you try to back out of this, because I feel like somebody want to back out of this because they see that you're a nice person, 10, 10 on the clock. Somebody wants to back out of this because they realize somebody, somebody, you, somebody could be a tarot reader here. Most definitely. Or somebody could be a spiritualist. I'm hearing somebody could have hired a spirit this month. So this lover could be a spiritual practitioner or something like that. Somebody was sent in to get some type of inside information on you. Somebody could be hacking your phone or tapping your phone. I've been tapping into this type of energy all day. What is wrong with these people? It's like the more they watch and stalk you, the more they more the more they get watched and stalked. This is ridiculous. Somebody wants out of this this business deal, this plot to try to take you down to get inside information on you. Somebody wants out of this. And even if you told this person anything about you, which I don't know if you did or you didn't, I'm hearing you're legitimate. You're not a criminal. I feel like somebody, so your ex or your ex's ex or both of these motherfuckers could have hired this person to get into your financial business. Angel number 11, 11 on the clock to get into your business. But I feel like you're legitimate. And I feel like somebody is having car trouble or you're having car trouble. This person could have actually took you, took you on a date or somebody could be saying they're going to wine and dine you or whatever the fuck. I feel like somebody ain't got money like they say they do. Somebody could also be lying about their age or something like that. Somebody could have sent somebody towards you that was underage. Okay, that could be for a divine masculine or a divine feminine. Somebody could, somebody, or somebody could just be very young. Come, somebody could have said that they were like, Somebody could have said that they were, I don't know, they could have said they were 21. I mean, no, they could have said they were 25, but they're really 21. Or they could have said they was 35 and they really 28 or some shit like that. Somebody is a, some somebody, somebody could even be a federal agent, an undercover agent, or um, somebody could be an undercover cop or somebody, somebody, somebody is in trouble. Somebody's in trouble and they know they in trouble because whatever business deal that they made with your ex or your ex's ex, angel number 12, 12 on the clock, I keep getting confirmation after confirmation, but whatever type of deal that they made, they're upset. This person is mad. This person is angry. Angel number 12, 22 on the clock. This person is mad and this person is angry because they're saying, why come you didn't tell me that this person was a, a psychic? Why come you couldn't, you didn't tell me that this person was a tarot reader? Why come you didn't tell me this? You mean to tell me you got me watching and so somebody could definitely be an undercover cop that's posing as a lover, like a love interest, but they're not. Somebody has fell in love with you or somebody may feel sorry for you. Somebody regrets. So this was an inside job. Somebody a regret of regrets, but I'm hearing they're not getting out of this. They're not going to get out of this because I feel like somebody could have taken pictures of you. Somebody could have done something to your address. Somebody could have gave your information to somebody. Somebody could have did a background check on you. Somebody has done too much and everything that came back on you was legitimate. That's what I'm hearing. This is a crooked ass cop that has been hired by an ex or an ex's exes to get inside information on you. And I'm hearing that these people could be doing this because I feel like somebody could have started off illegal. Your ex or your ex's ex and their family or friends could have started off illegally investigating you and they couldn't find nothing. So since they couldn't find anything, they hired a, a, a crooked ass cop that was a part of their family or circle or friend group. And I feel like. They could have made something up or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't know. But these people going to jail. What is this spirit? Yeah, meditate and contemplate. I feel like somebody is shaking in their boots because I'm telling you, they're asking your ex or your ex's ex, family, friends, whatever. They're asking these people, why come you didn't tell me this person was a psychic? Why come you didn't tell me this person was a tarot reader? Why come you didn't tell me that this person is spiritually gifted? Somebody is saying, I'm going to jail. You sure are going to jail, baby communication is key. I feel like somebody wants to reach out to you and tell you what they've done, but this is the sad part. You might not even know this motherfucker exists, or even if you do, man, 
Yeah, I feel like this is an ex or an ex's ex that tried to stop your new start from coming in. Somebody could have looked into your birth chart or somebody could have looked into your life. Somebody could have hired a spiritual practitioner or an undercover cop. These people could have looked into your life. My bad. They could have looked into your, your life and they could have discovered that you was going to come into a lump sum of money or you were going to get to, you, you, you have a hell of a birth chart or some type of destiny. These people, all of these people are in trouble. Okay, period, point blank. But see, with Virgo energy here, somebody is in hermit mode. Somebody, somebody is saying, why didn't you... But you know what the sad part is? Whoever your ex is or your ex, you know what? Spirit is telling me your ex may not be involved in this or they may be involved in this. I don't know. Or your ex's ex just may be a part of this. I don't know. But either way it go, if your ex is involved in this, I feel like your ex could have knew your character. I feel like, I don't know, somebody is, angel number 15, 15 on the clock, somebody is mad, but I feel like these people or these, the, whoever these people are, they're blackmailing this crooked ass cop. This is a crooked cop or something. Or a crooked ass federal agent. They're, they're, they're blackmailing this person. They're saying, nah, uh -uh, you can't get out of this. Because somebody is saying, why come you didn't tell me that this person was psychic? Why come you didn't? You mean to tell me? Because I feel like these people could have been laughing at you. They could have thought it was a joke or funny, but you're really fucking psychic or you're really a true tarot reader. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. This is a, I feel like this message is for a tarot reader or a psychic or some shit. And I feel like, Engine number 1555, I feel like whoever this crooked ass cop is, this crooked ass cop could have got, could have started talking to you or whatever the fuck. Somebody realizes, somebody could have went back and said, man, divine feminine, divine masculine is a real tear reader. Divine feminine, divine masculine is a real psychic. You probably don't even know this person exists or you probably, I'm, just be careful who you talking to, man. Be careful who you meeting in public. Be careful who you meeting online because somebody's ex is, is mad. Somebody's ex is bitter and mad. Somebody's ex is bitter and somebody, whoever your ex is, their ex or their, their karmic partner could be bitter. They're trying to set you up because they did some type of background check on you and they couldn't find anything. And they know that they were already in trouble for doing that. That's what I'm hearing. So, so since they couldn't find anything. And these people have been, I'm hearing illegal surveillance. They could have been taking pictures of you in your home or they could have hacked into your uh, social media account, your finances. There is a lot of shit that has been going on here. And all of these people are in trouble and they're blackmailing this, this crooked ass cop. They're blackmailing this motherfucker. They telling this motherfucker, nah, you can't get out of this. I don't care if you didn't know. I feel like these people could have known that you was a real psychic or a tarot reader or they took it for a joke. Okay, but I feel like they know now these people are scared. Especially this crooked ass cop because this person gonna lose their job and they going to jail. Okay, I feel like this is somebody that probably ain't never been to jail before. This is somebody that could have became a goddamn this could be a young cop. I'm hearing a rookie. This could be a rookie ass cop that could be young as fuck that don't know what the fuck they was doing. I feel like this is somebody that could have took their job to their head. Like, oh yeah, I'll 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 go in and mess with divine feminine, divine masculine. Oh, I'll go in and do it. I'll 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 have, I'll, I'll get some information on them. I'll illegally surveillance them. I'll illegally hack their uh their phone, their computer. I'll 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 illegally take pictures of them and record them and videotape them. These people could have tried to get into all type of information. So, and you possibly don't know this person exists or you do. Either way it goes, somebody is you're not getting out of this motherfucker. You're not getting out of this, buddy. Mr. Ricky, you're not getting out of this. Ain't nobody getting out of this, okay? And there's a lot of jealousy and envy involved, okay? And some of these, whoever this group of people is that's connected to your ex or your ex's ex or both of these motherfuckers, these people could be off and on. So your ex and your ex, so your ex's ex, these motherfuckers could be off and on, okay? I'm seeing a lot of domestic violence. I'm seeing a lot of fight, fighting. So your ex and your ex's ex could fight over you a lot or some shit like that. But this has, this has been going on in secret with Herman here. This has been going on behind the scenes okay and expect some type of powerful change this powerful change is something that you probably don't even know about and somebody is having car trouble somebody could be watching somebody car won't start or some somebody somebody is being blackmailed somebody is somebody is scared shitless i feel like all of these people is scared because they took a tarot reader or a psychic for a fucking joke and now they're being exposed okay that's exactly what I'm hearing, man. So be careful who y'all dating. Be careful who y'all talking to. Be careful who you meet online because, I mean, it really don't fucking matter because you, you're you protected. You are protected. Yeah, work through your fears. Yeah, you are protected, but... Shh. 
I'm telling you, man, somebody don't know what to do. Somebody can't even sleep at night. Somebody is scared. Somebody does not know what to do. Somebody is do not know what to do at all. Somebody don't know what to do at all. Okay. So this is what spirit is telling me. If you could have met somebody and you hadn't heard from them in a long time and say, for instance, you met somebody online or you met somebody in public and, um, you guys hadn't talked in a week or so and they you they finally hit you back up and you they were like, hey, how you doing? How's it going? I'm hearing this person is scared. The reason that they reached out to you, this person is scared because they're trying to see if they can get any information on you to use against you because they know they're going to jail. And I'm hearing they can't find shit. All of these people are scared because they fucked around and messed with a true tarot reader or a true psychic, okay? And I feel like this this group of people this could be a this could be Masons, Eastern Stars, people with gang ties. I don't fucking know. Okay, this group of people, they hired a crooked ass cop that was a part of their family or circle or friend group. Okay, they hired a practitioner. All of these people shook. All of these people are scared. All of these people are shook and all of these people are scared. I'm hearing they exes, exes, or I don't know. You might need to watch my uh my Leo reading or some shit like that. I don't know. This or this just may be a whole nother storyline, but these people are scared. Okay. Most definitely, emotions are running high. These people can't even sleep at night. They so shook, fucking around with a real tarot reader or a true psychic. These people dumb as fuck, and somebody is mad. I'm talking about mad. There's a crooked ass cop. Even and there's a crooked ass cop and a spiritual practitioner here that's saying, "Why come you didn't tell me this person was a psychic?" This person is really a psychic. This person is a real tarot reader. This is happening to a tarot reader. Possibly somebody on YouTube or TikTok, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, y'all, when we, when you in a, when you are a part of the spiritual community, man, these motherfuckers will try to attack you any which way, okay? I don't know what's about to happen. Cause I'm not really seeing that, but there is about to be some type of a, uh, some type of powerful change. But I'm telling you, this is a rookie cop. This is a rookie cop that, that somebody that took their position to their head. I feel like somebody could have been at some type of family function. I'm hearing somebody could be from Houston, Texas or some shit like that. Okay. Or somebody, somebody could be from the state of Texas. Or, okay. Somebody could be, I don't know why I'm hearing that. Uh, somebody could be from Arizona. Okay. Somebody could even be from Mississippi. Or somebody could be from California or somebody or Louisiana. I'm here. Okay. Somebody, some, I feel like somebody could have been brought in. What I'm hearing is somebody could have been brought in from a different state. So say you say you live in Arizona or Texas, somebody, a, a rookie cop could have been brought in by this, by your ex's ex or whatever. They could have been brought in from another state to do so. They, they assigned somebody is stupid. I'm hearing this is type flight. This is top flight security of the motherfucking world. Craig, Craig. Craig and motherfucking Day Day. Cause I feel like the spiritual practitioner is, is fucking Day Day or some shit and fucking, yeah, whoever the fuck this spiritual practitioner is, I feel like they hired a, a spiritual practitioner to look into your life, to look into your birth chart or try to tap into your Akashic records or some shit like that. And that somebody is stupid. How the fuck are you gonna do spell work on a real psychic or a, or a true or a true divine feminine divine masculine or some shit? A chosen? I feel like you a chosen one. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody could have did. Somebody hired a practitioner. This is dumb and fucking dumb. Or Craig and fucking day. They type flight security of the fucking world. Okay, this is absolutely pathetic. But I'm trying to figure out why though. Why? Why is this? Why is this happening? I feel like. If your ex is not involved in this, this is your ex's ex that could be obsessed with you. Somebody is obsessed with you. Somebody is obsessed. Somebody is a Jezebel and somebody is a divine feminine. I feel like there is a Jezebel here that could be jealous of a divine feminine. This might not even have nothing to do with your ex. Okay, somebody just, somebody is just, you know, it's some women... It's some women out here that will get with a man, whether your ex is worried about you or not. But it's some women out here or men that'll get with your ex and be jealous. They'll get with your ex just because they jealous of you or some shit to try to make you. I feel like somebody thought it was some type of competition or some type of joke or some type of somebody didn't. Somebody could do the same type of work you do. So somebody could be a tear reader or some shit. Somebody could work in the beauty industry. Somebody could have a tax firm. Somebody could have a trucking firm. Somebody has some type of illegal business here. But those are the business that I'm hearing okay somebody didn't believe that you were a real psychic or a real tarot reader but I feel like I bet you they believe your ass now don't they yeah we have uh have faith in your dreams somebody looked into somebody's birth chart and they seen that they were destined for greatness or some shit like that and I'm I, I don't know I, I really don't know 
I don't know what this is, this powerful change is going to be, but something, something big is about to happen. Something major is about to happen. I'm hearing a major bust and I'm hearing there is a rookie ass cop involved and there is a um, top flight security of the world. Craig and fucking Day Day and uh, 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 fucking uh, and some spiritual practitioner that did spell work or looked into somebody's birth or that did spell work on somebody that's a true psychic or a true tarot reader. This is absolutely pathetic. Okay, like, subscribe, and share, Virgo. Thank you and give by. And they're doing a lot of shit in secret and they don't think that they're caught, but I just confirmed some shit for your ass. So this video could be your confirmation. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you and goodbye. Bye, you guys.